Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about how to write a VHDL code for the 8x3 priority encoder. So, 8x3 priority encoder we have started in the last class with it has an IC number 74148. Okay, don't forget to remember this is IC numbers. In most of the examinations, directly question will be asked through the by using IC number without giving what it is priority encoder or decoder or what it is by without mentioning anything directly you may be asked to write uh, explain about the logic function of the 74148 IC and write the VHDL code for that you may be asked like that okay so 74148 we have already discussed in the last class the logic diagram consisting of eight inputs and three outputs along with these eight inputs and three outputs it also has one enable input and one enable output and a group select pin is also there and remember all these pins are active low pins all these pins are active low pins all the inputs enable input and output group select outputs and enable output all are active low outputs active low means zero means zero means activated one means deactivated that is the meaning of active low so this is the truth table of the priority encoder 8 by 3 and whenever the msb it always checks from the msb if see here in the last case suppose i will start with the last one yes i7 is activated so it will not worry about the remaining cases i7 is activated it is the most significant bit out of all the inputs so as msb is activated so simply the corresponding representation will be the output okay and which whichever is the activated pin that will be the output see here zero zero means correspond zero means corresponding zeros otherwise yes they are in active low state you can write all these in ones also okay so depends on active low or active high we can write the output pins and group select is activated when all the output pins are disabled okay when group select is activated when all the output pins are disabled we have set like that and output enable pin input enable pin both are same so whenever the output enable pin is act, uh, input enable pin is activated the same situation with the output enable pin also and these are the output boolean expressions we have written from the truth table okay now we are going to write a vhdl code on the same expressions so whenever we are writing with respect to expressions means it is under data flow model okay so VHDL code for 8 by 3 priority encoder 8 by 3 priority encoder 74148 in data flow model in data flow model okay so any vhdl code we know any vhdl code whatever may be the style we know it starts with library library i triple e library i triple e use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all this is the package name this is the package name for all kinds of functions which we generally use in any function any vhdl code so now entity entity priority encoder 8 to 3 or 8 by 3 is port of so what are the inputs and what are the outputs for this ic one enable input is there and eight working inputs are there group select output is there and a not to a to input outputs are there and e out is there so all we should 
right here so enable input which is input mode which is a single bit so std underscore logic and i is input vector so in in std logic vector size is 8 bit so 7 down to 0 and e out e out which is output pin std logic which is a single bit and a is out std logic std logic underscore vector of 2 down to 0 ok these are the input ports and see here uh, in writing the boolean expressions we do not have enable output pin and enable input pin ok so that is why in the ports you no need to write them but if you want to write with conditional statements if you want to write with conditional statement this all happens when enable is equal to 0 ok so if you want to write that then you can use these mm -hmm. enable pins ok otherwise simply discard them so architecture architecture priority encoder data flow of priority encoder 8 by 3 is begin so as it is a data flow model directly we are writing on the boolean expressions so a of 2 is assigned with i of 4 or i of 5 sorry it is r operation <coughs> i of 4 or i of 5 or i of 6 or i of 7 so if any of these is activated then a of 2 is activated and a of 1 is assigned with i of 2 and not i of 4 not i of 4 and not i of 5 or i of 3 and not i of 4 and not i of 5 or i of 6 or i of 7 so bar means not gate and similarly a naught is assigned with somewhat bigger expression i of 1 and not i of 2 keep it in brackets and not i of 4 and not i of 6 or or i of 3 and not i of 4 and not i of 6 see so keep all these in brackets wherever we have R gates keep all of them in brackets next R R 
i of 5 and not i of 6 or i of 7 or i of 7 end priority encoder data flow ok so same in if uh, if you want to write a behavioral model or structural model entity part is common but coming to the architecture the behavior is different as it is a data flow here we have written directly using boolean expressions in the next video we will see how to write a behavioral model for this priority encoder thank you